Hey guys, I just wanted to really quickly show you how to get an iPod to look like it's organically in a scene that it's not actually in. I think it's pretty cool, and I think you'll find it cool too. So, um, basically, you start off with two different shots. One. Ready, and go ahead. Perfect. That's exactly it. If See, that was perfect. That was exactly it. So, that's basically it. We have my, my friend Jim throwing an iPod up against a piece of cardboard with a green screen in the background. Basically, we have to make it so that it looks like the iPod is hitting Anthony in the face. Now, I've, I've already done it. I'm going to give away the ending. I've already done it, but I just want to kind of show you how the process works. So, we have this shot here, and then what we want to do is right at the point where Meryl flips out, we want to add our shot. There's our shot right there of iPod hitting face. Now what I did was I actually made it so that that piece of video right here will move with the direction of the iPod because I wasn't satisfied with how fast the iPod was going. So I just gave it a little boost. From takeoff to landing, I just moved the thing a little bit further and then stopped it at the end so that the iPod could magically do that little flippy flip 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 thing that it's doing there. It's perfect. I mean, it's exactly what we wanted. So, at this point, you time it up. You make it right in terms of, you know, this uh, space and timing. Yep, that gets to his face. It goes from her waist to his face. That looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to green screen. Now, I had to do a lot of tweaking to get the green screen out, but there you'll see with no green screen, and still there's an iPod. You see the iPod. Very cool. We can zoom in just a little bit, and you can see that iPod. Very cool. But we still have these two edges where we didn't have green screen. So for those, what I do is I go in and I uh, draw masks and I draw them by hand and then if they need to move I animate them and now you can see how the masks become visible and you can see how I animated them a little bit just because I had to get Jim's hand out of there and that's how you composite I had to emphasize the iPod a little bit, so I left it a, just a little bit larger than life. Just slightly larger than life, so they could be seen. But you see, when it's laying on the ground there, it really doesn't look larger than life. It looks perfect. In the air, you could argue that it looks a little large. But, you'll notice when we actually watch it in full motion from a reasonable distance... at real-time speed that it just looks like it was always there so anyways I just wanted to show you how that worked thought you'd be interested thought you'd think it was cool I think once we add some really cool sound some really painful sounding sound here and then you know an iPod uh, clattering on the cement um, this will really really work so hope you guys like that little demonstration you know it doesn't have to be all hee hee ha ha you know we can learn <laughs>